Before the 1600s in Japan, samurais said to have walked 45 kilometers or 25 miles in one single day. How they did that was by using the special way of walking. Learn the connection with karate and how you can master this walking technique in this video. Hi, I'm Yusuke of Karate Country Japan and thank you so much for checking out today's video. So the keyword for today's video is going to be Namba Aruki. Let's change the location and let me show you how you do it. So the difference between a normal walking and this nambaruki is that in nambaruki, when my right leg moves, my right arm moves as well. So what are the merits of this walking technique, right? Let's do a simple experiment. Guys, get up from your chair or your bed and sit down on the floor like this. Okay, if, you can, if you're unflexible, you can be like this and get your hand out. From here, what you're gonna do is try moving forward. I want you to first try um, getting the right leg like this and at the same time getting your left arm forward. That's how we walk, right? We walk like this. So try that on the floor. <laughs> it's very hard, right? Now try that with the uh, Nambaruki technique. So when you get the right leg forward, move the right arm forward like this. Suddenly, you can walk and you can even go back. If you do the opposite way, when you get the right leg back, you're trying to get this. It's very hard. Well, I guess the back side, you can do it. But when you go to the front, <laughs> you can't do it. But once you do this, you can do it. Give it a try. Don't cheat. Don't do this because that way, you're just going to use your knees to go. So get your leg as straight as possible and try it out. Now let's try a second experiment. If you're sitting on a chair or if you're laying on your bed, get up and prepare something like this, a chair or bed or something like that. Stand in front of it. First, get your leg up here and go up like you would normally do. Like this, right? I think my head is cut off, but I don't care. <laughs> when you normally go upstairs or, or you're, when you're climbing a hill, when your right leg is forward, I'm pretty sure your left leg is, left arm is here. And you try to go up like this. I think you feel that pressure on your thigh, right? Now, what I want you to do is when you get your left leg, or let's do it like this. When I get my right leg up, I'm going to raise my right hand as well at the same time. So it's not, um, it's not this. It's not this like you would normally do. Get it up, get this side up at the same time. I think you felt lighter. Try it out. So why does this happen? Well, to logically explain, when you're usually walking like this, right? Your upper body is twisting against your lower body. Let's say you get your left leg up. Your lower body would naturally rotate this way, right? Like this. However, if you get your right arm up like we would normally do, our upper body is going to twist the other way. Upper body facing this way, lower body facing that way. And this is how we usually walk. But why, or let's say Usain Bolt running so fast with this kind of form is because of his muscles. He has such a spring, you know, mus muscular movement that he's able to push very fast. However, with this Nambaruki, what you're doing is when you get the right leg forward, you get the right arm forward. So there's no twist on your torso. So it's very energy efficient. And that's why the samurais back then were able to run 25 miles or 40 kilometers, which is like almost a full marathon every single day during a certain period of time. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> Let me know if the last two exercises worked for you in the comment section below. So in my online group lessons, I take these interesting new theories onto karate. So if you're interested, please sign up from up here and join the free trial for the first week. Now let's move on. I want you guys to really progress towards mastering this kind of walking method. So let me take another example, another kind of workout. So just stand in place. Now first, just walk like you would normally do, okay? 
And now close your eyes and feel the twist on your torso, especially around the ab area. When you get the right leg forward, your lower body is trying to go to the left. But since your left arm is up, your body twists. So if I exaggerate it, your body is like this. So feel the twist. Now, okay, relax, stand still. Now, let's do the Nambaraki. Get the right leg up and the right arm up. I don't think you feel any tension on your stomach. Try it out a couple times. And try jogging. Okay, jog with Namba, Nambaraki. Relax and do the normal jog. I think you feel more tired if you do the normal jog. And you're able to feel that twist on your torso. So that's the merit of, you know, Nambaraki. And how are karate movements similar to Nambaraki? Well, the technique we use is Oizuki, right? This Oizuki. In boxing, there's only this jab and straight. And both of them are rotating. Oh, the straight is rotating your body. That's like doing this. So it's very heavy. You need a lot of power here. The jab is more of like a nambaruki kind of technique, right? But karate has oizuki. We even do that with this side. So that's very a unique um, technique compared to other martial arts. And I'm pretty sure if you have understood um, nambaruki till this, this point, then from here, it's the same thing. You're just doing nambaruki. So I hope you guys found the similarities. I actually found this out last week. I was, I was like practicing and I thought, Wait, Nambaruki and Oizuki is the same thing. So let me know if you guys agree with my um, you know, findings. And if you don't, let me know how, what you think, okay? And I hope you guys find this interesting. Please like it if you like. I mean, if you don't like it, you can dislike. And subscribe to my channel from here. Check out other videos. And like I said, I do online group lessons, so please check that out from here. And I'll see you guys next time.